Beijing News Report. Tag Plan for the Tone, I'm Nancy Jet, and tonight we will be discussing different energy resources. Based on this chart, renewable energy only takes up 10% of our consumption, which means that the U.S. relies mostly on non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources like natural gas, coal, petroleum, and nuclear power will eventually run out. Renewable resources like wind, solar, biomass, and geothermal power will always be abundant. Coal is a bad energy source because it will run out in 200 years. Here are the steps to follow to convert coal to energy. Number one, mine for coal. Number two, transport the coal to the coal yard, then to the pulverizer, then to the boiler, then to the turbine, and finally to the switch yard. There are many forms of renewable energy sources, including wind and solar. Wind energy is the energy extracted from wind using wind turbines to produce electrical power, windmills for mechanical power, wind pumps for water pumping, or sails to propel ships. Wind power is an alternative to fossil fuels. This is because it is plentiful, renewable, widely distributed, clean, produces no greenhouse gases, and uses little land. The effects on the environment are generally less problematic than those from other power sources. Some pros of wind energy includes it being clean. Unlike the use of coal or oil, generating energy from the wind doesn't produce pollutants or require any harmful chemicals. Wind is also free. If you live in a geographical location that receives plenty of wind, it is there for the taking. As a renewable resource, wind can never be depleted like other natural non-renewable resources. Unfortunately, there are still cons to wind power. Wind doesn't always blow constantly, and turbines typically operate at only 30% capacity. If the weather is not in your favor, you may end up without electricity. Severe storms or extremely high winds might cause damage to your wind turbine. And the blades of wind turbines can sometimes be dangerous to wildlife, particularly birds. Another type of renewable energy is solar energy. Solar energy is radiant light and heat from the sun, harnessing using a range of ever-evolving technologies, such as solar heating, solar thermal energy, solar agriculture, and artificial photosynthesis. It is an important source of renewable energy and its technologies are broadly characterized as either passive solar or active solar, depending on the way they capture and distribute solar energy or convert it into solar power. A major pro of solar energy is that the panels, the panels give off no pollution. The only pollution produced as a result of solar panels is the manufacturing of these devices and factories, the transportation of goods, and installation. The con, though, is that installation cost is very high. Current prices of highly efficient solar cells can be above $1,000. Two innovative approaches to energy include alternative sources of energy are clean and green, but the catch is they generate less energy compared to fossil fuels. So now that scientists are trying to use different sources of alternative energy at the same place and same time to generate power, attempts are being made to combine two forms of external energy sources such as light and heat or light and vibration to generate external energy so that enough energy can be collected for practical use. Another innovative approach to energy are called flat towers. High-rise buildings and skyscrapers have been the most favored architectural solutions for highly populated cities. It is a combinable area for combining, combining height and growing more vertically. For its small footprint without having precious soil at a premium cost in most cities, these will be very innovative in the next few years.